Okay. You guys, okay. team one, so you have 625. Team two. Hi, I'm Rebecca Vincent Giles, and I am the Forensic Investigations Director at Washburn University. I also am a Shawnee County Death Investigator for the Coroner's Office, as well as a Medical Investigator for Dean Mart 7, which is under Health and Human Services. Part of our final practicals for our CJ 115 Intro to Forensic Science course was to go to the Capitol Plaza and run multiple mock scenes. When I started being a crime scene investigator, we used to have tape measures, and it used to take us quite a long time to document crime scenes. And now, most agencies, the larger agencies, will use 3D scanning equipment. We're able to allow students to start using that total station component start using the GPS components when diagramming scenes, and we can bring the jury to that crime scene and give them a panoramic view. Large agencies will use the 3D scanning equipment, uh, FBI, ATF, uh, KBI. It's the next standard, it's the expectation that people have. So students will walk out knowing how to use the Cyclone program. They will know how to use a 3D scanner. They'll know how to use targets. They will know how to do the shooting reconstruction. They'll know how to use it for blood stain pattern analysis. At this time, I do not believe that any other forensic investigations programs allow um, students to have this opportunity to start using the 3D scanners. It's, a, it's an important project for uh, donors to look at because it is the future of forensic science. And we have to keep our students at a new level and um, provide the best technology that we can for them. We are trying to make it the best of the best. We have this beautiful building and we want to provide students with the best technology that we can.